It's Luna time. I haven't even looked at it yet. I'm super excited. Let's dive in. I'm gonna see what happens when you use it for the first time without any tutorials, any information, no manual. I'm just gonna dive in and see what it looks like. Maybe try out some instruments. Let's give it a whirl. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, please hit the subscribe button and that bell because we're about to dive deep into some Luna stuff and I'm talking future videos. So just logged in. First thing it asks you is to log in with your Universal Audio account. You gotta log in to the iLock License Manager. Click on Luna, hit the checkbox, wait a while, because the systems are slow right now. Waiting. These are a lot of steps, because I, I wanna get in there, and I wanna see this guy, and that's not happening yet, so. So now we know the first, the first moment you get in here, it's gonna take a bit to, to sort out your system, what you have on there, what you've used in the past and all that stuff that you might have dealt with already. You gotta deal with it again. iLock is the first hurdle. I haven't looked at anything else. It's about to pop on the screen and here we are. Whoa, okay, new window. Ooh, tutorials, fantastic. So. They don't want you to go at it alone, which is what I'm about to do. They're giving you some basic tutorials. Beautiful. I love that. Basic audio recording. Navigating Luna. Luna overview. That's fantastic. But for now, I'm going to skip that, jump right in, and see if, as a musician, as a recording engineer, mixer, all my years of experience, we can see if I can make heads or tails out of this whole thing, right? Looks like we're creating a project, great. Uh, asking me if I want to do A, 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 F. Looks like this is, I don't understand this. Okay, this is where it's gonna put the files, I assume, nope. Uh, okay, I don't, I don't know. I'll have to find out in the tutorial, right? Okay, tempo, great. You can tap the tempo if you want, fantastic. Location, it's putting it under Luna Sessions. Under where? Under music? Okay. Okay. And I'm gonna say, uh, first glimpse. Okay. So I'll, I'll create it. Sure. We'll see what happens. Okay. Creating my first project. Okay. All right. So we got a minimize and a, okay, window thing. So we don't got the, Mac traditional full screen, looks like, unless I'm wrong. Let's look at window. Oh, there is a full screen mode. Okay, strange. Okay, what am I looking at here? All right, so we have this window on the side. We've got our channel strip input, okay. We've got the timeline. Perfect. Loop beats. We have a view mode, okay. You can set what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Okay, fun. All right, so clearly I'm gonna need to go through the tutorials and it looks like I would suggest doing that because even though this is very familiar, it's still, there might be hotkeys that I might be more interested in but it's fun. I like these buttons up here because it feels like a kind of device. That's fun. Okay, over on the right, it looks very familiar with the um, console that they had before and on the bottom as well. Okay, I just popped back out to, let's see what the discover page is. Discover, okay. So here's their like store. You can see in Eve, as you would expect, 300 bucks, right? <laughs> Whew, just burn that up. In the background, it's been downloading uh, shape, settings. Okay, so these are the console kind of features that are popped in here. Very familiar. Let's go back to my project. So over here, we have audio and, or an instrument. If you want to, want to create a new track, let's see what happens. I guess if I say okay, I assume it's going to pop a new track on here and it did that okay so these stretch stuff i guess okay you can fold these up 
That's nice. They told me I, we can do custom colors. This is not custom colors. These are preset colors. Maybe that's coming soon. That's something I've been wanting for a long time and I'm not seeing that. That's not cool. Maybe in a future release. Blah. So, so far, I, I think I'm getting a grasp of it. Um, and obviously, I would totally recommend go through their tutorial stuff because it, it is, you'd probably be missing out on a lot of stuff uh, if you just jump right in like I'm doing right here. But my initial impressions are pretty good. Um, I know that they rushed this out uh, because of what's going on these days. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. There's a lot of little things that need explaining for sure. You've got workflow section up here with a bunch of different uh, tiny little um, details of settings. I don't even know what these all are, but let's say, fine, let me start recording. Uh, here's where I'm at. I built my track. I have my track. Okay, I'm going to arm it. What happens? Do you press play? No. You press record? Yes. I pressed record. Nothing. Press play. Is something happening? I don't know. Yes, something's happening. Okay. So, okay. It seems pretty straightforward. I'm going to come back and do a whole bunch of videos dealing with this stuff once I've sorted it out. But I just wanted to take a look and see if my first reaction is that I'm like, oh, this is too complicated, you know, that kind of thing, or it's totally unfamiliar. It's not totally unfamiliar. It's vaguely familiar. It's like someone, you know, you, it's your room and you go in your room and someone has moved everything around, you know, that kind of thing. And so you're like, this is supposed to be here, but it's not here. It's somewhere else. Um, maybe something like that. So I guess that kind of sums it up um, in terms of just diving in real deep. And this is just a real world example, but I do like it. And I, I think I'll get used to it. And I think it looks like just at first glance, there's a lot of customization things that you can do. You can see less things. And so I would totally suggest look at the tutorials, look at other people's tutorials, find out the specific stuff. Um, so yeah. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell button, and I will be back with some more Luna content very soon. I'm going to start tracking songs piece by piece, recording drums, recording bass, guitar, vocals, and uh, mixing, and we'll see how that all comes together. All right, thanks so much. See you next time.